What is going on, executives? This is Alex Wink, Inc. Michael. I'm the company man, the numbers guy. Welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, going to do a little bit of a different type video today. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I gotta get a little more steady hands here for these vlog-style videos. That's right, we're gonna be taking a little walk here. Not a very long one, but gonna show you a little bit of what it is that I look for when trying to pick up uh, collection items or premium type comic book related stuff when it comes to adding to my personal collection and also selling. Uh, you know, So I, I look for a bit of both to try to fund the hobby like most do. And wanted to kind of give you all a peek behind the curtain today so you could sort of see a little bit of uh, how I kind of approach things and what I look for. Now, at the end of the day, we are all at the mercy of what's available to us, right? So we can only uh, get in front of so many items, so many collections, so many uh, bulk purchases, if you will. And you have to sort of make a strategic decision as to how you can move it or how you can collect it, if that makes sense. And how it will fit into your PC. Now, all of our personal collections are going to be different. They are all going to be of different quantity, size, value, and all of those things, obviously. But uh, for me personally, I want to have a pretty sizable uh, personal collection. I like to collect a little bit of everything, and I mean everything. Uh, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't tell you how much stuff that I like, at least even with just comic books, right? Like, I have... Uh, I love moderns, I like variants, I like some exclusives, but don't crush me, <laughs> but I do. Uh, you know, all the way from Silver Age, Bronze Age, Copper Age, all of the above. I like full runs. I'm a full run collector through and through. Even if that run is several volumes and several issues long, I still kind of like to have a little bit of everything. So for me personally, having a thinned out PC is probably not going to be an option. Right here is just some of my short boxes behind me, these are all BCW, and I'm BCW black boxed out of my mind here, and uh, that collection is just continuing to grow. I have uh, a lot of these, I have some in the garage, I have some in another room, I mean, I've got stuff everywhere, and as you're going to see here, I've got a lot of these all over the place, so... You are currently in the boardroom as it stands right now, completely renovated and everything. Maybe we'll do a room tour someday, but today's not going to be that day. Let's take a walk together and kind of see. We're going up the stairs and into the bonus room. With Now, this room in our house has multiple uses. Uh, this thing is... Uh, it's a mess right now. We, we've got stuff all over the place. It is a work in progress. I'm cleaning it up, trying to take care of things uh, and get it, get it going. Now, I think I mentioned to you all... Uh, on the channel, there would be different styles of videos and different things like that. So this is one of those. And one of those things that I talked about a little bit is that my wife is now participating with me in comic books, in the comic book business, if you will, uh, and me trying to sort of getting the selling side going back up again. I feel like there's a massive hole there in sales. Uh, not, not that now is a great time to be launching anything comic sales related, but... Um, like I talked to her and like she knows, we do things a little differently here in the boardroom. Uh, you know, and it's more about the exposure that it can give you in a positive way. And it's more about taking care of people and making it a fun and safe and, and just full of integrity type of purchase process that I think is the differentiator for me personally. And I, and I think that you would see that, especially the shows I used to run on Whatnot and the shows that uh, even with Instagram mystery boxes, things like that, I try to keep things in the highest regard and always take care of people. And I think that's sort of the precipice and kind of the foundation that all of this is built on. But what you're looking at behind me here is kind of a, just a mini little office setup that we kind of have just to kind of keep things going. Uh, kind of my wife would sit here and work here and, uh, you know, shipping printer. We got some books to bag and board. We kind of do this a little bit differently than I think most people do, to be honest. Uh, I may dive into that entire process later. I sort of have a very strange way to store sale books, but I think it works the best for me. Uh, and, and, and I'm not dealing with probably substantial quantities like most are. I'm dealing with um, thousands for sure, but not, uh, not 20, 30, 40,000. I think the most that I had... At one time, uh, not not necessarily PC or, or anything like that. I think I've had an upwards of over twenty thousand books, uh, just just in and around here. And, and there's quite a bit here right now, as you'll see in this purchase here. So again, a little bit of the little peek behind the boardroom, but that's not why we're here. Let's jump over here, in the sort of sort of the long box staging area. And I'm going to try to hold this up so you can see this. There we go. So this is the long box staging area, and 
there is a lot of stuff here. There is This is obviously not just one purchase or acquisition. There are a couple in here. Now, a majority of all these long boxes did come from one place. Actually, all of these came from one place, believe it or not. So that is a... Uh, that is one purchase. Now, we're going to flip this camera around here and kind of show you guys a little bit of what we're going to see in these boxes. And hopefully, this sort of helps you see a little bit of what I go after. Now, this is not a key-heavy uh, acquisition by any stretch of the imagination. So, these are unprocessed collections right now or, or pickups. So, some of this is like, like this bundle right here that... Uh, Virgin variants came from one spot. That's actually a really sick Ghost Rider variant right there. I love that. Um, you know, I, I find these deals all over the place. There's some signed out of their mind books. Uh, shout out to IRF Authentics. That'll probably end up in the PC, to be honest. So these these are unprocessed. So some of these will end up in my PC. <laughs> just to, just to clarify, uh, uh, we got a little Batman foil. Uh oh, a little foil gold. I know I should hate that, but. <laughs> I, I really do kind of like that book. I, I, it is a beauty. I mean, I, I'm going to have a hard time not putting that in the PC. I'm going to be honest. But let's kind of dig through these. These were in alphabetical order. I don't know what they are. But, I, I, again, I saw these very minimally. The deal on them was too good to pass up. Uh, how I will move these, I don't know yet. Uh, there, there's some good stuff in here, and there's maybe not so so much good stuff. Now, I do have different methods to move them, multiple ways. Uh, while I have been away from YouTube, I have sort of um, still kept up with uh, sort of a back-end sales channel, and uh, I've been able to have a lot of success with that. So again, I still have the relationships, and I'm, and I'm somewhat dialed in at least, on, on moving product, sometimes in bulk and sometimes not. But I like to keep the premium good stuff that I think collectors would like, and of course for my own PC. But let's get down here, get a little nitty gritty here in the boardroom, and let's take a look at this first short box here. Oh, well, look at this. We got right into the Spider-Man. A little Miles Morales Spider-Man 30. Very nice. We've got, oh yeah, this is this is Miles Morales heavy. Oh yeah. So again, th this was a uh, th this purchase was actually a really really good purchase. Oh man, I love that cover. Thirty two variant. Uh, well, there's a bunch of those. Multiple copies of the thirty two variant in there. Wow. Sorry for the lighting too, y'all. Again, uh, give me a little grace. Yeah. This, so this is all Miles Morales. Oh, that's pretty cool. Little twenty cent goodness from Dell. Millie the monster. Uh, oh wow. Look at this. We got the mom books written by the uh, the. Darnarius Targaryen, I can't remember her name right now, from Game of Thrones. I believe this is a 1 in 25 virgin variant. Uh, wow, there's two of those in there. There's the mom. Oh, no, maybe that's not it. Wow, that's... Uh, maybe, maybe we want to be careful here. This could be a little risque. Oh, we got a little Moon Knight action here, too. So, man, this is, a, this is a fantastic little box to sort of dig through. We got the modern Moon Knight run, which is coming to an end here soon. I believe they're on issue 29 going on 30. Was that Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat X, okay. We have some stuff here. We got Nom, oh yeah, we got some old school, well, these are Copper Age, Nom books, that kind of stuff. So, not too shabby here uh, in this box. A little New Mutants. Uh, again, I highly doubt there are any keys unless, I, I mean big keys. There's probably some moderate keys in here, no doubt. But uh, I'm talking monster keys, unless someone made a mistake. And, and that always happens when you buy in bulk, uh, you never know. I mean, it's just like they got to dig through the same long box of stuff that you do. So a lot of Teen Titans right here, too. So so there is a, uh, there's a chance or probability that they do make a mistake and you end up with something you shouldn't have got. Man, a lot of Teen Titans in here. Uh, we got a New Warriors. I like that cover. <laughs> Number one issue. Again, I'll check the conditions of a lot of these. We'll bag and board them. Everything goes in the Mylar Magic. Um, except that, like if I have a giveaway book, oh man, a lot of nice house on the lake. Uh, is that first print? I don't think it is. Y'all may have to help me with that. Man, there is multiple issues of that. Um, I don't think that is, but I could be wrong. Uh, there, there's a lot of issues of that. So again, this is a good box. We got some, ooh, we got a little Bronze Age Nova. Okay. Got a couple issues of Nova in there. I like that. Uh, Marvel Unlimited. These are cool. I like these. This little, a little comic magazine there. A little more ASM kind of stuffed in there, too. X-Men. This is kind of random. I wonder why these are in here. Because uh, these are not in alphabetical order. But you get the gist of this here. A lot of good stuff. We'll just keep kind of moving down here and seeing what else. Some older books here, for sure. More Marvel Age. Weapon X. Marvel Fanfare. Huh, I wonder what these are. A bunch of modern 
Oh yeah, Marvel Point Ones. Man, I mean a lot of good modern stuff here. So this is a uh, this isn't bad at all. I mean, I got this for a, uh, a very good price, so I was very happy to take it. And, and it was kind of one of those things where you had to get it all. Ooh, man, a lot of two-in-ones. Now, they're the newer ones, but still. Sorry, I'm, hopefully you guys can see some of this I'm pulling out of here. Uh, what do we got here? Voices, <clears throat> identity number one. Uh, oh, there's some Marvel Zombies. Like that. Marvel Zombies Resurrection one. Not sure if there's much there. Boy, we got a whole C. We were just talking about scarcity not long ago. Or maybe that video hasn't come out yet. <laughs> but there are a ton of copies of this bad boy. Is that a score exclusive? No, it's not. It's just a cover A. Reboot of the Power Rangers. Interesting. There is a... I, I'm pretty sure that whole batch is all Power Rangers. Look at these square bounds over here. What are these? These Harley Quinns? Yeah. Oh, those are nice. So now, see, these are sweet. Again, when I saw the square bound stuff, I was like, you know what? I like some of this stuff, this modern stuff. But this is a this kind of represents a pretty good chunk of of, of a bulk purchase slash collection purchase slash a few other pickups that are kind of sprinkled in on top <clears throat> uh, that kind of just show you a little bit of uh, what you're dealing with here, kind of what I'm what I've got currently right now. So maybe not everything, but nonetheless, still. Uh, some some things we can kind of dig through and look at and uh, process and maybe get something going here. Again, some of this will end up in my PC, run filler, whatever. And I would say as a collector, uh, right now especially, don't shy away from the bulk purchases. Uh, they are there. They are available in abundance right now. Uh, you know, and, and again, I don't necessarily mean bulk in the general sense of like buying a comic shop's overstock bulk because that's anywhere from... I mean, really, you should be paying, I would think, anywhere from 10 to 20, 25 cents an issue for that. But but stuff like this is a little bit more premium. Uh, I don't even know that you could get bulk like this, maybe, because uh, there's a lot of copper. There's some Bronze Age in there. Pretty good smorgasbord. This is more of what you might see in a person's collection that may have gotten started and gotten out of the hobby or maybe was picked through, and this is kind of what was left. So they sold off a lot of the bigger keys, the things they knew. And then they, they, they kind of, this is what's kind of well, all that was left of it. And I don't always buy this, but I don't mind getting it if I'm able to take a look at it and kind of see what's in there and see if there's, a, you know, some things to salvage and some things that could work for me and my PC. And then, uh, of course, some things that may still have at least a decent value for people. And that's kind of how I go about looking at these things. And I would say that um, when you buy a collection, it, it's always good to... I would always just keep your mind open. Keep an open mind when looking at the books and when, when talking about it with, with prices with people and things like that. Because where their price is at, I can almost guarantee you that's not where the deal will end. So just because somebody wants $10,000 for something doesn't mean they won't take five or four or three. Uh, I mean, again, you want to be as, as fair and arbitrary as possible, right? But at the same time, you need to really judge something for what it's worth and what it can get and, and what it's worth today. And, and as volatile as the market is, these things are fluctuating rapidly and they are susceptible to macroeconomic conditions. So always keep those things in mind. And again, I will continue to do videos like this and hopefully they'll be a little better, not as shaky and I'll get a hang for holding on to a camera while I do this. Uh, really looking forward to filming at conventions and things like that as well. Hopefully this camera is a, a good one. I don't know. I, I went and got a whole new setup and who knows if that was worth it, but also um, you, you'll just see a lot more of that. But anyway, I hope you all uh, are doing well, and I really want to thank you for letting me do this. And again, I will continue to give you guys peeks behind the curtain like this as we establish this little mini business slash, I don't even want to call it a business, slash our hobby and really just funding the hobby, having the hobby fund itself and picking up good stuff and, and just really enjoying comic books again. And I think, boy, oh boy, if we can all get back to that, uh, it'll be tremendous. The, only, the other thing I'll say is we all rode the wave to the top together and we were all happy together. Now, now we've rode it all the way down. We might as well all be happy and get along on the way down as well. So let's, uh, let's keep the good positive vibes flowing. Thank you all again so much for being a part of this journey, helping me out and, uh, jumping back in this bandwagon with me. It's been an absolute blast and I'm so glad to be back and, uh, and doing this. So once again, thank you for everything. I am Alex Winking, Michael W1 and KINC. That's it for this one, and I will see you all on the next one.